Welcome to the CCH Access video series. In this video, we'll show you how to import a 1065K1 into 1040 by activities. As you can see here, we have a 1065 return open that's been prepared and ready for the K1 to be exported. Under the partner information, select the partner whose K1 you would like to export. Once the partner information is opened, select details and confirm the partner's name, address and social security is correct. Next scroll down to the partner export information and select the export option and enter in the client ID of the target return. You can either enter this manually by looking at the client ID of the target return, or you can double click into this section to see a list of all the different returns you have available. Now the K1 is ready for export, select the import and export tab. Under the export section, select export my K1 data into my 1040 return. You'll first see a validation status, click export. Then the export status will let you know the K1 has been successfully exported. Now that the K1 has been exported, we'll open our 1040 return. When the 1040 return is open, you'll immediately see there's a notification that lets you know there's a K1 ready to review. You'll see that this K1 is new. It's never been imported or prepared before. You can also see the last exported date and time which the export was initiated. Here you will also see the source activities. This K1 specifically has three activities. You'll also see the entity type. In this example, we'll show you how to import your K1 by activities. Select the K1 and review it. As you can see here, these are new activities which will have to be mapped. If this was an existing K1 with existing activities, a list of all of the activities will appear under the Actions column. Since this is a brand new K1 with no activities, we'll create a new activity for each individual one. We can also change the description. You can also edit the activity numbers to match your source activity. Now our K1 is ready to be imported, click Import. And as you can see, it's been successfully imported, click OK. You'll be taken back to the K1 Manager screen and it lets us know the last imported date and time. Next, review the K1 to make sure that all of our activities were imported correctly, and the QBI was imported correctly. Click Worksheets. Then open Partnership Pass-Through. Scroll down to our activity. And as you can see, we have three activities, which we change the descriptions. Test 1 is here. Then you have activity number 43, test 2. And then you have activity 90, test 3. Each individual one of these has all of their information related to the activity. Scroll down to the QBI section and you'll see that this activity has QBI that was imported successfully. We can go to our next activity and make sure that QBI was also imported successfully. And as you can see, there's additional QBI information in our different activities. 